Hey, my lovelies. What it do, what it do, what it do. It's your favorite, the one and only extra love coming through to see what's popping with you. What up, my babies? Top of the day to you. What it do, though? How you been these last few ticks? Yeah, I see you all here making moves for thugs. That's what's up, my baby. Yeah, this, this gonna be quick, easy peasy. It is what it is, you know. How you doing, fam? How you doing, my lovelies? Yes, I see life has been so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah. I see you got the message as well. To tell the truth. Right? Always operating out of truth. And I see you've been telling the truth for a long time too, my baby, huh? And that's what's up too. So... This is like so extra. Like when I first, you know, got ready to come holler at y'all. You know how normally you hear a little song or you get some type of feeling, right? Guess what I heard? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merely, 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 merely. Life is but a dream <laughs> to tell the truth huh I hear that used to be one of your favorite nursery rhymes coming up you must have said it an awful lot because to tell the truth you know what I'm saying that's what you discover ain't you my baby so I'm gonna get to the little messages the little mini messages then we get into it and then we up all right so how y'all been these last few days you know what I'm saying? I ain't been really doing nothing, catching up <clears throat> with a few people, tying up loose ends, those details, those details, those details, right? And just really been sitting on my candy, you know what I'm saying? Getting outside as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Yep, about 90% back to me. Real awesome. Yes, yes, yes. So, like the first message I get is you're an initiate. You're a student. I see a lot of my family been working out, like diving back head first into their athletic regime and their rituals and stuff in the morning. I see you looking real succulent. I hear you're looking like a million bucks, right? I see you're thin and fit and athletic. You're smart. You always need. You're almost like too neat. You know what I'm saying? Like everything has to be clean. Everything has to be in its proper place. I see you dress nice. You not only look good in the inside, you look good on the outside, too. I see you have a beautiful vehicle. Um, I see you fuck with some people and some people you don't fuck with, you know. You know. And I see, you know, you get bored easily or you tired of things easily. Um, you always receive receive gifts because you, you always gifting people or blessing or gracing and favoring other people, right? I see a lot of my family members with short hair. Um, I've even seen some family members, they're throwing on dresses and stuff today. Like I said, you I see you are very beautiful. Very beautiful, right? So, I see you've learned what trim means. I hear you used to be trim, and now you learn the true definition of trim. 
you know how to prune and get rid of things in your life. But guess what you trimmed out? My beautiful, beautiful, lovely. So early to see this magnificence that is called you. But I'm here for it, you know what I'm saying? Because I see that you trim guilt. No longer will you be taken on that ride called a guilt trip. You know what I'm saying? No more will you um, be having those dreams. You know what I'm saying? And some nightmares, right? You cut all the guilt out. Oh my God. I see you are learning or have learned about your galactic heritage. And I see your chakra system is balanced and aligned, rejuvenated, replenished, and restored. I see you got your divine union, your God union. You know, I see you getting a couple of little pieces of gray hair. We call them hoary. It used to be like now hoary means one thing, you know, like promiscuous or something like that or loose ways or you know skirting the boundaries right get it skirting but hoary really means showing signs of wisdom and age so it'd be like gray hair and i see that you're definitely divine i see that you you love to sing and hum you write little dizzy little ditties that make people dizzy trying to understand. Right, 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 right. I see, yeah, I see you're the real Hori. Very wise and sage. And I see you got the salt and pepper going on. And I hear child, boom. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that is what Hori means. See, people, they, you know, they off. See, the real Hori is H-O-A-R-Y. That's your word for the day, Hori. I see you real hoary, not whorish, you're hoary. I want you to look that word up, right? <laughs> and I keep seeing you say, child, boom. But I just want you to know to enjoy yourself and enjoy your relations, you know what I'm saying? And so basically you are old whore dealing with old fools or morons, you know what I'm saying? Moron, because you know it's three times the morons. <laughs> it's the stupid, the strange, and the ugly. You know, and morons is if you really want it, since we're keeping it truthful and we're telling the truth. Morons will be what you call changelings or oafs. Oafs take oafs. How about that? O a f f s. Take O A T H S. Now, bam. So many gems for y'all, right? But uh, I see you've been peeping the play about the bullshit and the bullshit turds out here. And you even trimmed that shit out your life. And you ain't feeling guilty about it, not one bit. I see you used to be like a little idiot. You used to act plum dumb or some dumb. But you ain't none dumb. That's what I heard. And I see you've been enjoying yourself, enjoying your life. I just keep hearing extra, child, boom. You know who you are. You're stepping into your power. Ain't that's what's up. So, I see that you're really close. I keep hearing, keep going. You know what I'm saying? You know what magic is, and you're building that right now. And you know who your real friend is. You know, all started off you being curious. And I see you an accountant or a comptroller or something either for the city or your accountant or something like for the IRS, right? And you like your position and you know the truth about the world, right? And I keep hearing you say, right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? I hear you keep it real to tell the truth. I keep hearing that. And I see that you're like a messenger. You know what I'm saying? Some of my family members are postal workers. You know what I'm saying? You spread the truth. You deliver messages of truth. Right, right, right. And that's the truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't no mystery. 
But, you know, I see you definitely tapped into your subconscious, your intuition. You know, very, very intelligent. Very mercurial. Right? Like mercury. <laughs> and I see you definitely know the spiritual form of pure energy. Right, 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 right. Because, like, instantly, I don't know if y'all peeping it. But it sure seems to be like we, we um, in Pisces energy, right? Just that Neptune, like them waters. Water, wada, wada, wada. No matter what language, right? Still mean the same thing. Do, do you get wet? A lot of people can't get wet out here. Not <laughs> on their own. You know what I'm saying? Them ones that's out here, the foo foo. The ones that can't get wet. They don't know whether they're coming or going. So dig this here. Peeping the play. Because remember, we said that it's like that Pisces energy out here, right? So that's why you've been pensive. You've been in a hangman tapping into your highest self. And a lot of things been revealed to you. Like the moon. Like I said, your subconscious and intuition, right? So you never know. The thing about Pisces. Anything, if you know anything about Pisces. Never know when a motherfucker's going to snap, crack on, and pop, my baby. <laughs> That's one thing about the Pisces. You never know, you know what I'm saying? Because they be smooth and cool at the, you know, bubbling at the surface, you know, until you piss them off. And you did you also know that uh, since we dive in deep shit, it's early in the morning, we might as well keep it trill, real, a whole stack, a whole thousand, because we telling the truth. That's why we tap into each other, because you want to hear the truth. You don't want to get rocked to sleep. You don't want nobody to sing you a lullaby. So dig this here. You know Pisces rules. <laughs> well, the, and the first de deacon is ruled by Saturn. And the second deacon is ruled by Jupiter. And the third deacon is ruled by Mars, right? Number one, Saturn about to go direct. On the 29th, so like next Tuesday, like six more days, right? So all the lessons, all the karma, all the limitations and stuff that you had, or like the fourth dimension is going to be over. It's going to go direct in Capricorn. Because <laughs> it was already, it was extra, not only being a Capricorn, Saturn was, but it was in retrograde, like... People need to be easy. When death is walking around, I would not be doing no fuck shit if I was you. I'm just, you know, just in case you don't know nothing about astrology, just the basics. Number one planet you really don't want to mess with <laughs> is Saturn. And the number one sign that you really don't want to mess with, you know what I'm saying, is Capricorn. You know, because Capricorn will be that devil energy. The world and the devil. And you know about the devils in this world, my baby. So dig this here. So since we said it was motherfucking uh, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars. <laughs> Jupiter just went direct on the 12th. So that was your luck and abundance. That's like you got your gifts. You can't even use the motherfuckers, right? Saturn is still in Cap retrograde in Capricorn, but it go direct on the 29th, right? And then Mars, it went retrograde in Aries on the night. But on the, t but look, so you on the twenty nine, the limitations of your your luck, your grace, and the favor is gonna be unlocked. And you're going to be having smooth, decisive action. But dig this here. You're moving from 
the fourth to the fifth dimension. So just like seven seven was significant to you, eight eight was significant to you. <coughs> nine nine for sure. I had so many calls on nine nine, it was ridiculous. Right? So now on ten ten. It's going to be a significant day, too. It's going to be another date that you mark on your calendar. Another date that you're curious about. You know, you, you're trying to figure out the mystery to these dates. You know what I'm saying? I see you trying to figure it out. Just know that you're fine. I would say you basically like in the fifth dimension, but you definitely know about conserving your energy. You definitely know how to re-spark your spark. You know, that, that's probably not a good way to say it. But you know how to conserve your life and your life work. You definitely know about life um, conservancy. You definitely know about that. And I see a lot of my uh, family members have either been soaking their feet in salt, Epsom salt, or they've been grounding themselves on Mother Gaia, which is always beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And let me see what else. I say that you're about to get, okay, to tell the truth. You're learning the truth about two things. The first one is love and happiness. The second one is no haters around. Um... For love and happiness, the message was you're going to get recognition of the work done. Uh, you, um, you're you learning um, about your emotional and spiritual experiences. For sure, your emotional experiences. And you get recognition for that. And um, the truth about no haters around is um, I hear you getting, you're winning, you're gaining and you got successful plans. I see if you're not a fat cat or not wealthy, you soon shall be. It's something about a cat. And I hear why fight it? Just play, ascend, fly, lap in luxury. Hello. And you getting an increase in your pay and your life and your lots. Is what I heard. Right, right, right. Keep saying right, right, right. Keep it real. Um, I hear that you're real close to creating something You're uh, in the physical, in the material plane. And you love working for like the Justice Department. You know what I'm saying? You work for the Justice Department. You, you're for truth. And you know no matter what is what you learn throughout your life. That assistance is all ways here you know sometimes it may seem like you're um you're alone but you know that you're not right you you know that to be true you know that you have assistance out here and that it's people not only in this physical realm but in the spiritual realm that have your best interests at heart and they're eager to help you um all you have to do is reach out and ask you know what i'm saying if you Need assistance making correct choices. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is tap in, my baby. You know what I'm saying? And that's real. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? And if you ever are seeking wisdom, you know, you connect with your guides or your spiritual team, your highest ascended self, your highest self, the most high, you, um, you, you contact your, your spiritual team through contemplation and meditation and prayer. Or you ask for contact in your dreams. And I see that's what you've been doing. And that's what you've been receiving. And, you know, and just know, you know, they know what you like. They know how you think. So they steer you in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? From the beginning. And, um, you know... You had an agreement before you even incarnated here that all you had to do was seek and ask and you would be given, you know. And like I said, you've been learning about the spiritual forms of pure energy um, and just know that the fully 
of where humans, they acknowledge and they access, but they always acknowledge first. They don't get it twisted. It is acknowledge first, then access. Don't access and then acknowledge. And then it's not going to pan out. You acknowledge, be humble, thankful, and grateful, and then you access. You know what I'm saying? And your connection in the spiritual realms. Because I see all around you, it's like wise men and sages and masters and, you know, scholars, you know, those beings and things that no longer need to incarnate um, in the earth realm or the earth school, you know, and just always know you ask your spiritual family to go before you on your path and help show you the way. And that's the true key, you know, to tell the truth. Right, 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 right. <coughs> and I see you learn too. This is like your double confirmation. The only thing that ever comes from your lips, the only thing that should ever come from your lips is love. Anything other than that, ooh, 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 ooh. and that's the truth. You know what I'm saying? So you keep it real and you keep it right. And I hear that's why you're going to get your. Uh, birthright and you're about to have a real beginning <laughs> because all you do is tap in I hear you roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream merrily, 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 merrily life is but a dream and I see people actually got fat cats out here real cats and I see a lot of people are wealthy and opulent and just living ooh, ooh, ooh. so these are the numbers that I got off rep Two, three, four, five, six, five, five, four, six, three, two. You know, let's, let's see what's up with these. Six, three, two is you, you know you're balanced because you're, you know that you are fertile and your, your, your gifts are being bestowed upon you, or some of your gifts are being bestowed upon you, so I mean, you're fine, everything peachy out here, and I see you're tapped in two times, you are very wise, and you know, you know, who be keeping it real with you, you know who your real best friend is, right, 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 your own personal assistance from your own personal assistance, and that's why you winning out here, that's why you get, you gaining, <laughs> That's why you gain it, my baby. So, so let me. These was your messages. I'm over. Let me. Let's get in real quick. Because, you know. Let me take that mess up. Off oh, rip, you already sound beautiful. First card out is a magician. Y'all see you working hard. You working hard. You bringing that truth out here. To people, my baby. <laughs> you be, oh, I see you making that bank. I see you making anywhere from eight hundred to nine hundred dollars this week. Yes, my baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Magician, Eight of Pentacles, Death, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Wow, look at you. Prosperity begins. You're on your way. And did you know that the pages of princes and princess, princesses really control the, the realm that they're in? <laughs> uh, you getting paid for it, spreading truth. And you know who fills your cup up with love. This is beautiful. We can get a few clarified, but it's all good, my baby. Here you go with that magician energy again, my baby. Magician energy again. Yes, and you left that behind you. You know, ain't no more feeling alone. Tripping good. Yes, that's the truth. Another truth card, another 20. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Beautiful. I see this is the Nine of Pentacles. You know what I'm saying? It's a well deserved reward. Oh, my God. You have financial. 
and stability, upheaval, but shit, you got that back together, my baby. Trick not good. Yeah. I see you tapping. You've been doing your 639 meditations. Somebody got a yellow nightgown on. Somebody got a yellow t-shirt. And I see you done got surgical with the moving on. You, you learned that from your dad. You learned how to move on, my baby. You trick them good on your journey. You got that 11 11. The magician twice. Could make it up. Magician twice, my baby. You out here winning. <laughs> wow. You know who to tap into. That's why you, when you pray, you would stole your arms up like that. I like that. But yep. Yep, fur on your journey. Going forward. You know, you always work through those feelings of feeling alone. You're never alone. Just tap in, right, my baby? And you know who's blessing you on this plane and all planes. Like, this is crazy. I don't even really want to tell you what I keep hearing because it's, you know, I don't want to trigger nobody. But I keep, you know, seeing child of death. Dias. Darth Vader. <laughs> Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker's out here. How about that? And you about to get your blessings for a change. No more will you be helping nobody else. You're going to get poured into. The most high, your highest self is about to pour in for you. Wow. Because you're diligent and moving on. If it don't serve your highest good, you are out this piece. Yes, my baby, look at you. And I see you will have whatever your heart desires, my baby. That's what's up. Yes. Strictly by you move, you will. And I see a lot of people in front of their altar. A lot of people in their lab whipping up some spectacular, I see. And on your path, there's no sometimes just, you're going to um, sometimes feel alone. Just know nine times out of ten is not even your emotion. It's somebody you're picking up. You know what I'm saying? I see you like, see a lot of orbs. I see a lot of people send a lot of golden orbs, especially this morning as the sun is rising. I want you to really pay attention. I see people practicing with their chi balls. I see a lot of people building up their bankroll. You know what I'm saying, baby? Because you balance. That's why you're going to continue to be abundant. You're balanced. You tap in. You must successfully merge your higher and your lower nature, my baby. Just don't get no rule of that. And all your dreams are about to come true. Yes, confirmation. You know that's confirmation. We're training ourselves to pay attention to synchronicity. It's either telling you to pay attention or you're not paying attention. You know what I'm saying? No more are the days that, you know, people used to have you all willy-nilly all up in your feelings and your emotions and shit. You know what I'm saying? Trick no good because you know your light is beaming. Your freeless freedom lights up the world. <laughs> your freedom, uh, man. Your fearless freedom lights up the world. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Along your path, you're going to you know, see people who are going to be sad, mad, or glad, but you keep on going, dang, that's not none of your business. You got to, you know what I'm saying, bring everything to the light so it can be transmuted and transmuted through love, into love, as high as good. Yeah. I see you've been tapping in. You've been seeing your future, just like you used to see your past, right? <laughs> right, 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 right. Right, my baby. You out here pulling major cards. You go that wisdom again. I'm fives. Because like I said, you know what you're seeing. you seeing these orbs. This is like these little balls, energy balls. I know you're seeing them. Empress on here. Divine Feminine. Yes. Yes, you're bringing that die out out here. And you're, you're very, very prosperous yourself. Six of Pentacles. Material and spiritual prosperity. Yeah. 
going on are the days used to be all up in your head. Mental conflict and despair. You brought your dreams to fruition. Use that imagination. That's why you celebrate and rejoice. You celebrating and rejoicing. I see you got your own little special cup you drink out of and toast. And as you should, pull that sucker out, my baby. A lot of people going on hot air balloon rides, it looks like. A lot of people make the fruit salads. A lot of people got their hair in like wet, wet sets. A lot of people, you know, got their hair wavy, but everybody got their hair down. I keep seeing this Black Panther. And it's reminding me of um, the Ben Panthers. I see this card. <laughs> and I don't care what deck, this card pops out, my baby. That's that Ben Panther. I'm going to leave that one. You, you figure it out. I see you resting, rejuvenating now, and practicing self love and tapping into your, your highest self. And you know you a star. And you know you about to be one too, ain't you, my baby? And I see you just breathing. Six, three, nine, my baby. Yes. I got a gown. Look something like that, too. Oh, my God. And I see people on their back. I mean, I see people got their new book. They're going to help other people. I see a lot of people going to heal people from depression. Make sure you get paid for that. You know what I'm saying? You're draining your energy. You know. Two, I also want to tell my family. You know, a lot of people do know and a lot of people don't. That, you know what I'm saying? Don't drain yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's alright to help people, but don't drain yourself. Yes. You got, I mean, should you pull the major arcana? Is this the Wheel of Fortune like twice? Empress twice, Emperor twice, two magicians. Y'all doing, y'all double shit. You know, y'all do stuff in, um, I see you tr you're going to be triumphant. You know what I'm saying? You helping people realize they're not stuck in the mud. You're a constant encourager, and I see the universe is encouraging you too. You got that strength, that 44. You know, that's our number. We coast on that 44, baby. Strength out here in this world. And you supporting a lot of my people, my baby. I see you hugging and nuzzling and cuddling. And you change, my baby. You're not that little caterpillar no more, my baby. You're a butterfly. And I see you sticking to the script, following the leader, protecting your treasures, your goodies, your yum-yums. And you know your dreams is just starting to pop out. And your destiny is to get out here and be the plug for other people. <laughs> How about that? And just know that you're about to be getting unexpected visitors. And just tap in because they listen to you. And, oh, this is beautiful. Unexpected visitors. You picked up the fragments of you. Shit, that's a beautiful thing. Wow. Empress energy again. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up. I love y'all. You just learning to tell the truth. And you, you know when your faith and your intentions are strong enough, you can bring your vision to reality. You can make dreams, your own dreams come true. When your faith and your, you know, intentions are pure, you know, to begin the practice of allowing, you must get out of the, out of your own way, and let spirit give you some direction, my baby, for sure, you know what I'm saying, yeah, 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 you know, you don't have to feel fear, you're, you know, you don't have to fear your fear. You know, that's what you're learning. You don't have to fear your fear. You can use your fear as a way to get closer to love. And that's what a lot of my family is discovering. 
you know, and then you're also discovering true dreams, true, true grace and favor, true blessings are all powered by service and love. Right. <clears throat> because remember, feeling good brings you far more than whatever you thought you needed. So, you know what I'm saying? I love you, my family. You're beautiful. You out here winning. For sure. You know, life is beautiful for you. We keep pulling this card. The sweet orange. She's looking real beautiful and bounty bountiful for you. She popping off your dreams, hopes, desires, you know what I'm saying? All because you balance your stream emotions. And, you know, you just start moving on. If it didn't make your heart sing, it ain't no thing. So you kept it moving. And I see you learning to be diligent and keep your eye on the prize and see the bigger picture, see the long thought. You know what I'm saying? And just doing that, you got good foundations and you can achieve anything out here in this motherfucker you want to. You understand that? For sure. So let me give you a word and I'll send you on your way. The moment you realign with love, a clear direction is presented to you. And that's the truth. As always, it's been real. You know what I'm saying? You know I love you with my highest love. And that's why I'm extra love. Because who doesn't need extra love? You know what I'm saying? Holler at me. Have a day as beautiful as you. And I love you. You know, I see them flowers, them rose bushes around the door. I see people with headphones on, people going to the zoo, people being out in their yard. You know, somebody got a black kitty. You know, to who, I'm just going to say, this black kitty is guiding you. And I would just love for this black kitty to listen to some music that they're going to tell you they want to listen to. And this kitty needs two chains. Two chains like the rap rapper. Two chains like the rapper. This kitty needs two chains. <laughs> and this who said it? Kitty need two chains, family. You know who I'm talking to. Love and light, life, strength, courage, peace, tenacity, breath, <laughs> charity. Faith and hope. But of all these things, the highest love for all and with the highest love. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Bye, my babies. Bye, my lovelies.